Good morning. What a beautiful day. This is just a nice, beautiful day, early spring day. This is going to be a, a 24 by 24 two car ranch style garage with texture 111 shingle roof. Um, grade is all ready. We have about probably a couple hours to set up, and concrete will be here. So we better get moving, eh? Got it, the uh, forms all squared up. Now we'll check it for grade, see how close that is. I checked it the other day, it was right on actually. Maybe a little bit high in that back corner. Should, should line up well. This guy did a perfect job. All four corners were dead on. Now we'll put strings out all the way around, get the forms nice and straight, and uh, then we'll stake the perimeter. Get most of the grade stakes in. I'm going to go around now and check the check the grade. What a beautiful day! I'm already going to go down to the sweatshirt. He's just digging the perimeter. We're going to thicken that all the way around the edge. So we have the uh, floor drain is set to um, correct depth. Get about an inch slope from the outside to the center. We'll cover that with plastic so that when we pour the concrete, it doesn't uh, get concrete in the holes because that's not good. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so we have all the rebar down. Now we'll just tie it off with twist ties. Sometimes you just have to release your frustration. But seriously, we use that to uh, pry up, prop up the rebar. Big day, ready. We are ready for concrete. We're right here. 3,000 psi concrete, uh, six inch slump. Beautiful day to pour concrete.
So this guy is a great operator. He's putting it just perfectly. We're hardly having to do anything. Not that I'm lazy. Okay, it's all poured. We're both loading it now. Well, we being Chad. Um, it's already stiffening up. That's so great. When it's 40 degrees, it just never hardens. But, uh, we have to be sure to stay ahead of it now because it's hardening pretty quick. We got it all sloped to the drain. Came That, that came out really well. Cutting in the, the garage door areas here. I usually do that while the concrete's still wet. See, we cut just a slight slope here, so when the garage door comes down, the rain hits that and it sheds out instead of inside of the garage. Well, I've run over it once with a power trowel. I'm going to run over it again. It gets stiffer and a little bit smoother each time. All right, we're starting the construction finally. Uh, we're doing sill seal. We'll put that on. You can see we poured the slab, we stripped the forms. Came out very smooth. A few little puddles, but you, you, you can't help but get that. We are ready for walls, so here he goes, one, one section at a time. We mark all of the, we, we send everything as much as we can pre-cut and marked. This one says uh, TP32, so that's top plate for wall three, which would be over here, and the second second section of that. We've also marked for truss locations two feet apart. I'll follow behind them putting on all the top plates. thing to point out these numbers TP21 um, the number is always on the left as we work around wall one is always over on that side wall two three and then the front wall is always wall four unless there's five separate walls sometimes a bump out or something but it's important that these numbers uh, it's always on the left
walls are up, framing. Now we're going to do T111. We'll start at the back and go forward. We do that so you don't see the, uh, the overlap as much from, from the uh, front.